Are you generally someone who's patient? Or someone who likes to get on with things? If you're at the junction and the traffic's not going anywhere, are you just gonna be chilled out? Or are you gonna be the honk your horn person, the chivvy everyone along person? I guess we all have different temperaments, don't we? It's easy to characterize the age we're in as the instant age. I'm old enough to remember life before smartphones and the internet, where if you wanted to know something about the actor in the movie or the series you're watching, you had to remember it or find a friend who knew about that person. You couldn't just Google and find out the age and what else they've been in like we can these days. But on more serious issues, are we patient? And is there a difference between patience and just being resigned to the situation? Sometimes we can just become passive, resigned to the state we're in. Maybe that's not patience. Maybe that's unhealthy. In our Bible reading, we're thinking about on Sunday in the Psalms, it's one of the Psalms of the men. And one of the questions of the Psalms of the men is this, how long, O Lord? In Psalm 13, we're thinking about, David says, how long, O Lord, will you Forget me. He doesn't just want to be resigned to the situation. He said he knows God is the God who saves, who acts, who intervenes. He has had that experience of God. And so he says to God, how long? Is he impatient? Or is he realistic that he's in a mess and God is the one he cries out to? It's okay to be a questioner. It's okay to go to God with our how longs and ask the questions. I think there's a difference between being impatient and lamenting, of not just being resigned to a bad situation, but actually seeing that things are not as they should be. Longing for a better day, a new day, that we know is coming in Christ. Maybe you feel that. There's a song that says, do you feel the world is broken? We do, do you ever feel that sense? Well, that's a healthy longing. We know a day is coming. Maybe we need to not be impatient. Patience is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. But maybe we need not to be resigned that the way things are is inevitable. But to long and to cry out, even how long, so that God may have. We look forward to one day where everything will be made new. We are people of hope if you are a Christian because of Jesus, because he died and rose again. We have hope. This is our midweek thought. May we not be impatient, but may we not be just resigned. May we look forward to a better day. May we be willing to say to God, how long until we see the world made new. We're back on this channel on Sunday for worship. Love to hear from you. God bless. Keep in touch. And take care.